In a remarkable and unforeseen development, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has unveiled a discovery so profound that it has left the global astronomical community in a state of awe and wonder. Only a few weeks after revealing the earliest known galaxy in the universe, a monumental achievement in itself, the telescope has now detected an even more extraordinary phenomenon, a supermassive black hole racing away from its host galaxy at an astonishing velocity of 4 million miles per hour. This unprecedented finding carries far-reaching implications, igniting intense curiosity, spirited debate, and a sense of marvel among scientists, researchers, and space enthusiasts worldwide. It challenges long-held assumptions about the cosmos and promises to reshape our understanding of the universe's intricate workings. The James Webb Space Telescope, designed with the ambitious goal of peering into the universe's distant past to explore the formation of its first galaxies, has already exceeded expectations. It has captured breathtaking, high-resolution images of celestial phenomena, including the dramatic deaths of stars and galaxies that formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, an event estimated to have occurred 13.8 billion years ago. These images offer a vivid glimpse into the universe's infancy, a time when the cosmos was a chaotic, rapidly evolving expanse of gas, dust, and nascent stars. Yet, this latest discovery of a runaway black hole pushes the boundaries of what astronomers thought possible, introducing a host of new questions about the fundamental nature of the universe. Traditionally, black holes are understood as cosmic. Titans, regions of spacetime with gravitational pull so intense that nothing not even light can escape their grasp. They are often depicted as insatiable voids, drawing in matter and light with unrelenting force. However, this newly observed supermassive black hole defies these expectations in a spectacular way. Rather than consuming everything in its path, it appears to be a catalyst for creation leaving behind a luminous trail of newly formed stars stretching an astonishing 200,000 light years across the cosmos. This trail, a shimmering ribbon of young, vibrant stars, is a testament to the black hole's unexpected behavior. As it hurtles through space, it interacts with surrounding gas clouds, cooling them and triggering the formation of new stars in its wake. This phenomenon, observed in vivid detail by the James Webb Space Telescope, has left scientists both puzzled and exhilarated. A team of researchers, led by the esteemed astronomy expert Professor Peter B., recently published their findings in the prestigious astrophysical journal Letters, shedding light on this enigmatic black hole. Their work, supported by precise observations from NASA's telescope, confirms that the black hole's rapid movement through dense regions of gas creates conditions conducive to star formation. This discovery challenges existing models of black hole behavior, which typically cast them as destructive forces rather than agents of creation. The implications are profound. If black holes can spark the birth of stars, they may play a far more dynamic role in galactic evolution than previously thought. Scientists are now grappling with the question of how such a massive object, moving at such an extraordinary speed, can influence the formation of stars across vast cosmic distances. In addition to this groundbreaking discovery, the James Webb Space Telescope has provided stunning new insights into a cosmic spectacle known as ARC 220, a galactic merger that shines with dazzling brilliance in the night sky. Located approximately 250 million light years away in the constellation Serpents, ARB 220 is the result of a dramatic collision between two spiral galaxies, an event that occurred roughly 700 million years ago. This merger has created an ultra-luminous infrared galaxy, radiating with the intensity of one trillion suns of luminosity that dwarfs our own Milky Way, which emits the equivalent of about 10 billion suns. ARP 220 is catalogued as object number 220 in the Atlas of Peculiar Galaxies. A testament to its unique and striking characteristics, the collision that formed ARP 220 triggered an explosive burst of star formation, resulting in a dense region spanning roughly 5,000 light years. This compact area is home to approximately 200 massive star clusters, each a bustling nursery of new stars.
Astonishingly, this small region contains as much gas as the entire Milky Way galaxy, a fact that underscores the extraordinary density and activity within ARP 120. Previous observations using radio telescopes revealed around 100 supernova remnants within a 500 light year radius. Evidence of the intense stellar life cycles occurring in this galactic crucible. The James Webb Space Telescope's advanced infrared capabilities have now provided unparalleled views of this merger, revealing to galactic cores separated by just 1,200 light years, each encircled by a rotating ring of star formation that emits brilliant infrared light. The telescope's images also highlight faint tidal tails delicate, reddish orange streaks and filaments of scattered or ionized material extending outward from the merger a visual testament to the gravitational forces binding the two galaxies. Together, perhaps even more astonishing is the telescope's discovery of primordial galaxies located at the very edge of the observable universe. Initially, some astronomers were skeptical, wondering if these faint objects might be nearby galaxies masquerading as ancient ones. To resolve this uncertainty, researchers shared the data with scientists worldwide fostering a collaborative effort to verify the findings the james webb space telescope ultimately confirmed that these galaxies are indeed among the oldest ever observed their light having traveled more than 13.5 billion years to reach earth this extraordinary distance offers a window into the universe's earliest moments when it was a mere fraction of its current age spectral data from the telescope's instruments including its fine guidance sensor FGS spectrometer and near-infrared camera, reveal that four of these six primordial galaxies exhibit extreme redshifts, indicating they existed just 300 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies, formed in an era devoid of heavy elements like carbon, challenge our understanding of how quickly cosmic structures could develop in the universe's infancy. This discovery is pivotal, because it aligns with one of the James Webb Space Telescope's primary objectives to study the early universe. By capturing light that has journeyed across billions of years, its ability to detect infrared light and measure extreme redshifts sets it apart from its predecessors, including the Hubble Space Telescope, which struggled to observe such distant, faint objects. The confirmation of these ancient galaxies not only validates the telescope's capabilities but also raises profound questions about the processes that governed the formation of the universe's first galaxies. How could such massive, complex structures form so rapidly after the Big Bang? What conditions or mechanisms allowed these galaxies to coalesce in such a short cosmic time frame? These findings have sparked significant debate within the scientific community as they challenge the prevailing cosmological inflation model and the Big Bang Theory itself. These models, well foundational to modern cosmology, contain certain inconsistencies, such as contradictions with the laws of thermodynamics and the absence of a clear explanation for what triggered the Big Bang. The discovery of galaxies nearly as old as the Big Bang sum up to 10 times larger than the Milky Way and existing just 500 million years after the universe's birth forces scientists to reconsider long-standing assumptions. Renowned theoretical physicist Michio Kaku has emphasized the magnitude of this discovery, noting that it compels us to rethink everything we thought we knew about the universe's origins. The formation of a galaxy like the Milky Way is believed to require billions of years, yet the existence of these large, primordial galaxies suggests that our current theories may be incomplete or incorrect, adding to the intrigue. NASA recently shared news of a galaxy cluster observed just 650 million years after the Big Bang. This emerging protocluster, located in a region of rapid galactic evolution, is expected to grow into a massive structure akin to the Coma Cluster, one of the largest known galaxy clusters in the universe. By measuring the velocities of the seven galaxies within this cluster, astronomers confirmed they are gravitationally bound moving together like droplets of water converging into a mighty river. This analogy, offered by NASA scientists vividly, illustrates the dynamic processes at play in the early universe, where small, nascent galaxies merged to form larger, more complex structures 
The James Webb Space Telescope's discoveries are reshaping our understanding of the cosmos in profound ways. They challenge us to reconsider how galaxies form and evolve, the role of black holes in shaping cosmic environments, and the very nature of the universe's beginnings. The telescope's ability to capture detailed images of objects billions of light years away provides a unique perspective on the universe's infancy, revealing the processes that led to the formation of the first stars and galaxies. Its infrared vision is particularly valuable for detecting faint, distant objects that are invisible to other telescopes, offering insights into the conditions that prevailed in the early universe.